A very good afternoon to all the delegates and organizers of the Center for Early Childhood Developments Conference. And a warm welcome to Cape Town if you've traveled to attend this event today. Let me start by offering my apologies for not being there in person. I would have loved to be with you in Crawford today. But unfortunately, my schedule doesn't allow for this on this occasion. Please know that I'm there with you in spirit and that you have my full support and my appreciation for the incredibly important work that you do every day for our city's youngest residents. Your efforts are integral to what we're trying to achieve here in Cape Town. Over the past year or two, I've spoken often of the idea of building a city of hope in Cape Town. That is the mission of my administration, to turn this amazing city we all call home into a place where every resident has access to opportunities and a reason to be hopeful for a better future. So not just a city of hope, but indeed a city of hope for all. Those two words, for all, are very, very important to us. They are key to our mission and will determine whether we succeed or not. Because in a society that still bears the deep scars of our divided and unjust past, our greatest mission must be to unstitch that cruel legacy and ensure that every Cape Tonian is able to build a better future and live a life of dignity. I can think of no greater contribution to that mission than the work that you all do to help give Cape Town's children the very best possible start to life. I often think about investing in the future of this city, and those conversations are normally about the large chunks of our budget that we're spending on infrastructure, on pipes and sewers and electricity grids and roads and buses, and all the things that are critical to prepare a city for a changing and expanding world. Those things are important, not just because they create construction jobs and grow our local economy now, but because they represent an investment in the people who live here and who will one day inherit and build and reimagine this wonderful city for future generations. So if we want Cape Town to be the greatest city on earth, we have to start by setting our youngest Cape Tonians on the path to success. Like anyone who's ever worked in public service, I've always known of the importance of early childhood development. I've known all of the academic arguments for investing in the nourishment, in the care, the intellectual stimulation, and the emotional bonding of preschool children. And I remember when I was a member of parliament for the Greater Philippi area, I worked with NGOs in the ECD sector to help get change to building regulations at a national level to make it easier for ECDs to thrive and register. But back then I didn't have the leverage that actually being in a position of power brings to make positive change. A few years after that, when I started to raise my own daughter, the true potential and importance of early childhood development really hit home for me. That's when you become acutely aware of the developmental progress of a young child and how the first few years are so critical in laying the foundation for all that comes later in life. For so many children in South Africa, this foundation is not a given. And in many cases, even when there is supervision, there isn't necessarily care, stimulation, or even basic nutrition. Our country's disappointing literacy rates and generally poor education outcomes don't begin just in primary school, just as our devastating youth unemployment numbers don't begin only after high school. These challenges start right at the beginning of a child's life. And for many, there just isn't a clear path to escaping those poor social outcomes. There is no shortcut to fixing this. There is only the years and years of hard work done by the people in this room and all the thousands of other people out there who work in creches, daycares, nursery schools, and specialist institutions to help create an environment where children are not only looked after, but genuinely cared for. And what makes this sector even more inspirational is the fact that early childhood development is arguably the best example of a whole of society approach to addressing our country's profound social challenges. I've often said, and I will continue to say, that every aspect of Cape Town's development and success is going to rely on partnerships between the city, civil society, business, religious organizations, and individual residents. There is no sphere of government that can do it alone. 
This is true whether we're talking crime prevention, job creation, social housing, public transport, in keeping the city clean, or any other function you can think of. Real progress is only possible when you leverage the power of NGOs, community groups, neighborhood watches, churches, and local businesses. But early childhood development takes this idea to a whole new level. There are more than 2,200 registered and over 2,500 unregistered ECD centers just in the Western Cape alone. We're talking about thousands and thousands of partners working towards a common goal. Naturally, our big task is to register as many of those unregistered facilities as we can to ensure that they can comply with our standards of health, safety, education and care and so that they can comply with the Western Cape government's requirements for potential grant funding for those important institutions. I am so proud of the work that we are doing with a small group of passionate people who are in the room there today with you and I hope that they will make themselves known and I hope that they'll tell you a little bit more about what we are doing together. Along with some of our city colleagues, we are making real progress to make it cheaper and easier and simpler for ECDs to get registered in Cape Town. While this work may not be daily in the headlines, it is meaningful and it is rewarding and we are seeing progress. And let me tell you, we will stick with it until we get every one of the hurdles that the sector has identified that they face and that are within the city's ambit, removed or meaningfully simplified. I hope the team shares some more details with you about the great work we are doing. If we want to broaden the possibilities of every child in Cape Town, if we want to reverse the legacy of apartheid and ensure that all of our children hit their learning milestones so that they can one day do whatever they can dream of, we have to break the cycle that keeps so many people and young children trapped in poverty. So I am so grateful, extremely grateful, and inspired by the work that you do every day to make that idea possible. I know that Cape Town's children will be richer in care, richer in education, and richer in opportunities in life, thanks to the conversations taking place here over the next few days. And I wish you all a wonderful and constructive conference. Enjoy the discussions and enjoy Cape Town.